All right, so now I'm trying to deal with the um, unit feature of AutoCAD Civil 3D. Um, it's my understanding that this feature began back in AutoCAD 2006 and it slowly evolved to where it is now. Um, I can see its usefulness, but I'm going to show you its drawback and how I figured out one way of taking care of it. All right, so I'm in a blank drawing, and I'm just going to use our 24 by 36 inch template um, for the plotter to, sh to show you what's going on. So I'm going to go from template like we've done a million times, scroll down, pick the 24 by 36, 20, 2009, which is when we changed our logo, and I'm going to say open. It's going to say okay done now you switch to it and you'll notice that the sheet size is huge in relationship to our template and what I've discovered is if you measure this just roughly because there's nothing to snap to it comes out as roughly 36 units in this case 36 feet and I'll show you why when I drew our title block way back when, when units for all these purposes didn't matter, I drew it 24 by 36 is because paper space translated into inches. It was always inches. Okay, so if we zoom in here to where you can see this and you measure this and this is not going to be exact because it's not taking the exact borders in and all of that, but roughly 3.12 feet, 36 inches, the way I drew it in paper space, is 3 feet. So that's what's happened. AutoCAD has turned paper space to where it matches the unit of the drawing. So instead of it being 36, instead of it being a 36 inch wide sheet, it's a 36 inch foot sheet. Don't ask me why, but that's what's going on. Okay, so this op, this would work, except we'd have to up, we, we'd have to scale our title block 12 times every time we touched it. Okay, it just works that way. So I said, okay, what's happened is this drawing was unitless and it assumes that it's inches, so I'll go in and I'll create a 2011 title block, which is this one over here. And basically what I did was, oops, I can type right, is set the units to feet. Okay? And I saved it. 2436-2011. Yes, I want to overwrite it. Now I go back to my other drawing and I insert the title block from template. Same deal except this time I'm picking the 2011. Okay. Yep. Guess what? It's still scaled wrong. Alright. So let's delete this. So I did some research on the web and found out about, like I said, this uh, units feature that's uh, become part of the deal. Now, we can, do, we can do things one of two ways. They all involve this AEC DWG setup command. The first thing we could do is say, okay, fine, let's go back to the way that AutoCAD used to work don't scale anything when you bring it in. I don't care if it says it's in feet or meters or inches or whatever, just bring it in. Now, that to me has the connotations of making AutoCAD or Civil 3D work the way that Vanilla AutoCAD does or did. I don't know if Vanilla AutoCAD works like, like that or not. Um, but it might also have ramifications and ripples for the way that Civil 3D works 
um, at its core, like when you insert a road template, it may be 12 sizes too small or 12 sizes too big. We haven't gotten there yet, don't know. But let's just, let's just figure out how to make it work this way to where we don't have to even contemplate that. So what do we do? Well, in, you can. the problem with this, at least as far as I can tell, is that any change that you make to this dialog box stays with this drawing. It doesn't, or these settings are saved with the drawing. So if you make uh, changes here to one drawing and you go to another drawing and different changes, um, they're two independent things. It's not a system-wide variable to where when you open up AutoCAD, it's all this way all the time. So any drawing that we've done in the past to make things work, you have to go into this setup and do this, and which is what I did. Instead of doing it in the new drawing, I went to the template, okay, and I ran that AEC uh, DWG setup, and instead of it being inches, I, ch I changed it to feet. That's all I did and I hit apply. Well, lo and behold, AutoCAD comes up and says, well, do you want to rescale everything? I say, rescale model space and paper space. Okay. And then I saved it. 2011. Do I want to replace it? Absolutely. Now, I'm going back, and let's insert that 2011 drawing template. Twenty eleven. Oops. Voila. Our template is now drawn correctly. But that draws us to one significant problem. All of the blocks that we've made in the past. All of the drawings that we are potentially going to get from vendors or from clients or from other engineers other architects etc 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 we've got to know how that drawing is configured ahead of time and if it's not configured properly we've got to go in there run this AEC DWG setup set it properly so that way when we pull it into this drawing the drawing that we're working on our design drawing whatever that it comes in properly so right now my options are to flip that check box on AEC DWG config or setup to where Civil 3D doesn't scale anything. In other words, I think it makes it work like AutoCAD used to. Uh, we have to when we insert stuff, if it comes out 12 times too big because it's it's an architectural drawing, or you know it's meters and stiff feet, whatever we have to. We have to do that after we get it in into our design drawing. On one level, that makes a lot more sense to me. But at the same time, I'm concerned about what it's going to do with Civil 3D. And we really need to forge ahead because I don't think this is going away. So we need to solve it. The, pro the problem is the only solve that I have or solution that I have is going to force us to touch every drawing that we've touched in the past or at least to make our users aware that this problem is there and they have to manage it in this manner. Um, haven't figured out any better solution yet, so this is just the first step, but at least it shows us what we've got to do to overcome it. Hopefully I'll find another one. If I do, stay tuned for part two.